today we're going to be making a special tool for Ranger 500. I'm going to show you what we need, and we need this pretty quick. We've got a motor we got to get back in a flare stranger, and I'm going to show you what it's going to be for. So hang on just a second. All right, here's this uh, nut that we need, this special nut, but we've got to have it a distance back in here. I've already cut it for the four prongs that go on this nut. We've got to torque this nut down. So I'm going to show you, we've got to adapt it to a 3-8 socket, and I'm going to show you how we do that here on the milling machine. All right, so I've uh, measured a 3-8 socket, and it measured right at 3.75. You we know, might plus, plus a thousandths or so would be fine. Uh, we're going to use this uh, snap-on ratchet here uh, to double check once we get our dimensions. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to put a uh, center finder or an edge finder in the milling machine. And we're going to find the true center of this torque piece chucked in here. Um, I probably could use Oh, a set of V-Ways or something um, to hold this better. Um, but I think this is going to be sufficient. We're going to be taking a lot off. We're going we're gonna to drill in the center of this part um, with the next size drill bit under. That way we're not taking so much meat away. And then we're going to come in. We're going we're gonna to use our digital readout. And we're going to find out how much we need to move each way. So we're going to find the center of this part right now, which is pretty simple. axis and then we're going to do the same thing on our y axis Chuck, my Jacob 
Let's check, but I think this can be sufficient enough here. Yeah, So we're going to zero our digital readout. We're going to take 0.375, divide that by 2, it was 0.1875. So we're going to move that much in each direction is what we're going to do. But we have to account for our eighth inch end mill also. So we're going to have to calculate that into it. We're going to take 0.375 minus 0.125 for our end mill, which is 0.125 going to be divided by 2. We're going to take 0.375 minus 0.125 for our end mill width, which is a quarter of an inch. So we need to move that divided by 2, which is 0.125.
bit. We may have to take a hair more off because we might be a hair bit tight. So we're going to take and measure with the calipers. Calipers be fine measurement on this. If you uh, get some fine, fine measurements, you don't need to use just the digital calipers. Three seven one, so we're hair under on that one. Three six eight on this side, so we're gonna take just a little bit more off each side. And get back with you here. So I don't want to bore you with this uh, milling operation here. So. And we're still here a bit tight, so we're going to take, actually we're going to go and we're going to, we've been conventional milling, we're going to climb mill this time, maybe we'll get a little better finish on this too, so. Fine milling. Definitely made us bigger. I'm wondering if we're touching in the corners. The reason is. This ratchet is a new Shaft. And we've got a good slip fit here on this piece here, so now we can uh, get a good torque on this. And you can see their left handed thread also. Uh, this is a Polaris Ranger 500. Um, we didn't want to wait on this tool, so we just made it in house. We do this all the time, probably once a week at least, so we need something special. I'll show you in the toolbox. Make pullers and uh, we made all this, all these specialty tools. This one here was purchased, of course. All the black ones here were purchased, but 
we made a bunch of stuff. Got a whole drawer full here of specialty. Here's a custom Suzuki Vincent uh, 700, I believe. Uh, there's a nut on the crankshaft, and it's got to be that deep. So, thanks for watching.